people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to get my little thoughts on Chris Eubank Jr. because I've had a chance to reflect on the performance in the week that was his fight against Liam Williams. And I got to say, uh, I really enjoyed it. So uh, credit to both fighters for going in the ring. You know, Chris Eubank and Liam Williams for putting it on the line. For the fans, for the sport, for their careers. And credit to Ben Shalom, a boxer, you know, um, young promoter in the game, doing his thing, putting on a good event for the for, for, for the boxing fans. But listen, going back to Eubank, um, first off, let me say this, man. I, Eubank's been a fighter in, in the sport that has always, always, always been um, criticized by a lot of people. Sometimes even myself. Sometimes, you know... I have been a little harsh with Eubank in the past, but what I can say about Eubank and one thing we can never, ever take away from Eubank is that he always comes to fight. He always gives entertaining fights. He always gives good fights. And, and, and on this occasion, it was no different against Liam Williams. You know, he got out to a blistering hot start early in the fight where, you know, you saw the knockdowns, you saw the speed, you saw the athleticism, you saw that Roy Jones Jr. imprint and uh, influence on full display. You know, it, look, it looked like Chris Eubank Jr. When he, when, he does, listen, when he fights, his last couple fights, since he's really been working with Roy Jones, the longer he works with Roy Jones Jr., the more it looks like Chris Eubank Jr. is auditioning for the, the lead role in the, in the Roy Jones Jr. movie, if they ever make one, because he, he looks just like Roy Jones Jr. at times in the fights. You know, obviously, he don't have the IQ of Roy Jones or the, even the stamina of Roy Jones, but but for the first four or five rounds, I mean, you know, I, I swear to God, if I squint my eyes until sideways, I, 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 I could swear... I'm watching Roy Jones Jr. Uh, back in the day, you know, and that's a great compliment. I'm not, I'm not saying he's as good as Roy Jones. I'm just saying like he's starting to really do that that style justice. But you know, it was a good fight. I, I really think to me, this was the best uh, as far as his big fights go. Because I, I know Eubank did flatten Avni Yildirim in like four rounds, but as far as the big fights, the ones that have mattered in his career against uh, Groves, DeGale, um was it Groves to Gale, Saunders, and now this. This one was big, especially when you consider the fact that it was a real rivalry fight. There was a lot of um, bragging rights on the line. And um, fair play to Chris. You know, he showed a lot. He showed a really good jab in this fight. He showed uh, tremendous speed, tremendous athleticism. But, um, <clears throat> and he was even, listen, to his credit, he was even able to manage uh, his, his, his gas tank to get him to the 12 rounds. Because mind you, Credit goes to Liam Williams. Liam Williams came to fight. Liam Williams got dropped four, four times in three rounds, or no, three times in four rounds, and he still kept coming, and he still kept coming behind that consistent jab, and he seemed to kind of figure out Eubank, and that pressure was on the burst of pipes. I just think there was a two-round window later in the fight. I can't remember the rounds exactly, but there was a two-round window where, you know, Liam Williams had a chance to really uh, turn the fight on its head, but he just wouldn't let the right hand go. Um, and Eubank was able to take advantage of that and, and get to the 12 rounds and just box his way to a, to a decision. And, you know, fair play to him. I think um, Eubank, his next fight should be a big fight. It, it truthfully should. You know, um, I know, you know, domestic, domestically in the UK and for the super hardcore boxing fans, Liam Williams versus Chris Eubank Jr. was a big fight. But I'm talking about he needs a truthfully, like, big, big fight. And honestly, I'll be honest, honestly... The only fight I want to see for Eubank next, and I'm calling for this fight now because I, I, I got to be realistic with who I want to see him fight, you know, because politically you got to understand what's going on in boxing and, 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 and demand what you want as such. I want to see Chris Eubank Jr. fight Jaime Munguia. Like, that's the fight I want to see because, you know, we know, we, we know Andre's not going to be at 60 anymore, so that's not really realistic right now, uh, at least for the time being, until the whole thing with Zach Parker, the WBO, and 68 plays out. You got to see what happens there. Before we even talk about uh, Eubank. And then he might have to fight Johnny Beck, Johnny Beck, Alan Coley, if he comes to 160. So Andre's right out the picture. Andre is out the picture for Eubank. You got um, Charlo, who's probably going to fight Canelo. A lot of people think that that's what he's going to do. But if he does, listen, if Charlo doesn't fight Canelo, I would love that fight too, because I know that was a fight that PBC was exploring at one point in time um, in early 2020, late 2019. So that'd be a great one. I've always thought Eubank has had a great chance to beat Jamal Charlo. But 
The fight I really want to see, <clears throat> and somebody actually told me to make a video about this. I can't remember who it was, but uh, somebody told me told, somebody told me to make a video about this. But the fight I want to see for Eubank is the Jaime Munguia fight. I think that would be an amazing fight, uh, the kind of fight that uh, could really catapult his career forward. Before, because when we talk about Jaime Munguia, we're talking about one of the top names in the middleweight division. We're talking about someone who's been a world champion. We're talking about someone that 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 brings things to the table as far as uh, validity and credibility, you know, that's an amazing fight. And, and stylistically speaking, when, when you talk about the styles and you start getting into the breakdown of the styles and how Eubank and Munguia could mesh, you know, you got the come forward, hard hitting style of Munguia, which is, you know, he's starting to add some things to his game under the watchful eye of Eric Morales as his trainer. But, you know, uh, he's still who he's still what he is, what he is, a, a come forward, seek and destroy Mexican fighter. And Chris Eubank Jr. is 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 become, becoming more of a well-rounded fighter himself. You know, yes, he he loves a, as the Brits would say a proper tear up. He loves he loves to get into wars. He loves to exchange. He loves to throw those big uppercuts and let his hands go. But but under Roy Jones, he's learning how to box more and use the more of the gifts that God gave him. And he's starting to become a really really well-rounded fighter. He's very fun to watch. And I just don't see why. Like, look, I know I can't paint for Andre versus Munguia. Golden Boy don't want to put uh, Munguia in with Andre, so fair play to them. It's their investment. They can do what they, what they please. But when it comes to the subject of Eubank Munguia, I really don't see why there shouldn't be a, a, a this fight should happen next if Munguia gets past Demetrius Ballard um, in a couple weeks. You know, Eubank has a name. Uh, Eubank is one of the top middleweights out there that, that doesn't have a belt, one of the top contenders. Eubank's an exciting fighter, which I know the people are Golden Boy because I've talked to them about fighting Andre, and they always say he's boring, he don't make fights, he doesn't make fights that the fans want to see style-wise. So if that really is the case, if that's your gripe with Andre, then it should be no issue making Eubank versus Munguia. And just think about how great that would be. You know, another Mexico versus UK fight, you know, uh, two big names from those countries, two guys that have uh, uh, fun styles to watch that are always in great fights. You know, make make that shit happen. We want to see Eubank versus Munguia next. That's a, that, that that that's a great fight because Munguia needs a signature fight. I think Eubank still needs a a big big signature fight. He has his signature fight domestically this weekend with Liam Williams, but he needs another signature fight at that world level. And I think Munguia is a fight to do that for him. So I, I want to see that fight next. But all in all, all I can say is an amazing performance from Chris Eubank Jr. against Liam Williams. You know, Liam Williams was game. He he came. He he, you know, he tried to. Turned the fight on its head later on in the fight, but he just wouldn't let, uncork that right hand, and it cost him dearly. So um, he he'll have to live with that. But Eubank gets the victory, and, and fair play to him. You know, in my, in my in my humble opinion, of his big fights, his finest hour to date. So shout out to the Warrior from Brighton, UK. Keep pressing it on Chris, and keep delivering the great fights the fans want to see. Uh, it's, it's, it's a it's a true honor to watch Chris Eubank Jr. fight. So uh, you guys, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.